Now we're going to run through an overview of what MailChimp has on offer. So first we're going to click on our little name up here and you're going to see my profile, account settings, support and logout. Your profile is where you see your profile information. If we have a look in here, you'll be able to edit all of your information here. You'll also notice all the menus up the top here. I'm not going to go through all of these as this is unnecessary, but if you do need to edit any information regarding your account, you will find it in one of these drop downs and they're pretty self-explanatory. Next, we'll see account settings. So inside your account settings is where you'll see the status of your account, your plan settings and your billing information, etc. Support will redirect you to MailChimp support or knowledge base, where you can ask them a question and get support based on what your query is. And lastly, log out is if you wish to log out. Next, we've got all these options down the side. So campaigns are like a project. The word campaign means a series of operations intended to achieve a goal. So for example, if you wanted to send out an email to all of your customers about the upcoming 50% off sale, this would be a campaign. Next, we have templates. A template is a preset layout or design to be used in a campaign. Just like you use templates to sew or spray paint a sign, you can use a template in MailChimp to save having to do all of the work from scratch every single time. Then we have lists. A list is a group of people that you send a campaign to. This is usually your customers, but it could also be people that you met at an expo or networking event. Lists can also be broken into segments. For example, you could segment your customers by VIP or if they have ordered in the last six months. Next, we have reports. Now, reports show you what's happening with your live campaigns. So this is a campaign that has been sent out. This includes how many people opened it, where they opened it, if they clicked on it, etc. And lastly is autoresponders. Now, autoresponders are emails that are triggered, not sent in mass. So for example, you could have a feedback email that is automatically triggered to send two weeks after somebody has ordered from you. Lastly, we have search. Now search enables you to search all of the data you have in MailChimp. This is all of your customer names, email addresses, phone numbers if you have them, and also any information you've put into campaigns such as campaign details.